This lesson provides an architectural overview of the StreamCat UGC application. The StreamCat application architecture is divided into two categories, a collection of pre-built resources that are deployed via the AWS Cloud Development Kit, or CDK, and several resources that are created on demand by the application itself via the AWS SDK for JavaScript version 3 when a user registers for a new account in the application. The first category that we'll focus on is the pre-built resources. Let's break this down and see what each resource does. VPC. A virtual private cloud is used to restrict access to the Amazon Relational Database Service, or Amazon RDS, database instance. An interface endpoint is added to the VPC to allow the AWS Lambda function that will create later on the ability to utilize the AWS Parameters and Secrets Lambda extension to retrieve database credentials without the need for an SDK. A security group is created to allow ingress for the database port within the VPC as well as SSH access. The database instance is used to persist all of the user data for the application. This instance is associated with the VPC we created above and placed in a private, isolated subnet. To log chat messages, a reusable chat logging configuration is created. This configuration will be associated with every chat room and will log all chat events to the CloudWatch log group. This log group will contain all of the chat logs that will be created via the chat logging configuration. This configuration will be associated with every Amazon IBS channel and ensures that live streams are recorded to Amazon Simple Storage Service, or Amazon S3, and thumbnails are periodically generated. This bucket will contain the Video On Demand, or VOD, recorded live stream media and assets. This distribution allows the application to expose and serve the assets stored in the VOD bucket. This function is associated with every Amazon IBS chat room that will be created and provides basic automated moderation with profanity filters for all chat rooms. We will look at the Lambda function code in a subsequent lesson. This event bridge rule is triggered automatically when the stream or recording state changes on our user's Amazon IBS channels. This will allow the application to update the channel state and persist information related to VOD assets so that it can be retrieved for playback later on. A Lambda function that handles persisting the Amazon IBS channel and recording state. This function is triggered automatically via the event bridge rule created in number 9. A manually created secret will contain the database user credentials. An Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud, or Amazon EC2 instance, that is used as a bastion host to allow our local development environment to access the RDS instance. When a user registers for a new account, the following set of resources will be created via the AWS SDK for JavaScript version 3, an Amazon IBS channel, an Amazon IBS chat room, and an Amazon IBS stage. In this lesson, we learned about the pre-built and on-demand resources that are utilized by the StreamCat application. In the next lesson, we'll see an overview of the application schema.